when it comes to applying your formats to a cell or range of cells, you just go ahead and select it and then click on B for bold, I for italics. But when you do that and you're trying to differentiate between your column headers, your row headers, and your raw data here, well, what you can do instead, if you want an idea on how to, well, make it look more aesthetically pleasing, you can use Excel's auto format. For example, let me go ahead and hit undo. To bring the auto format feature up, you have to customize the quick access toolbar because that feature is not found anywhere on the ribbon. So to customize the quick access toolbar, as we learned in an earlier training video, go ahead and give it a right click anywhere on the quick access toolbar, go down to customize, and then change it from popular commands. The reason why is because we're looking for auto format, and if you look under popular commands, it's alphabetized. I don't see any A's for auto format, so click on the drop down arrow, go to all commands. It's alphabetized, but first it starts off with all the numbers, so I'll click and drag this until I get to the A's. And there it is, auto format. Go ahead and double click on it to add it over to the right in this window pane here. When it's added there, and I click OK, it adds it up here on the quick access toolbar. So before I go ahead and click on it, I want to make sure I have the range selected of what I'd like formatted using the auto format and looking at some of the templates that Excel has there to go ahead and offset my data to differentiate between the rows and the column labels and, and the raw data next to it. So come up here, click on the auto format button, opens up, gives us some uh, formatting options. Go ahead and scroll down and find the one that you would like. Let's take a look at this one, select it, click OK, and well, click off in a blank area, there you go. It offsetted the column labels by filling in the cell with some sort of purple color and then changing the color of the font from uh, black to white and then giving it a line just down below the data here. Let me go ahead and hit undo. With the range still selected, come back up here, click on the auto format, select another option here, and then before you click OK, you have other options down below. Click on it to expand it. And then the formats that are applied, they have all of them checked. Some of them may or may not apply to what we're selecting here as far as the templates go for the auto formatting option. And the only way you can find out is by unchecking these. And you'll see that when I check or uncheck, it just affects these two templates down below and not these up above with dollar signs or no dollar signs. You can get rid of the font so it doesn't change the font color, which it used to be white, now it's black. How about any patterns so there's no fill color? And then when I'm done, click OK and, well, there you go. Now, what's nice about this is, is it's a quick way to format a range of cells, and then if you don't like it and you want to tweak it a bit, then just go ahead and select that part that you want to customize, and, well, click on the drop-down arrow for the fill color, and let's add a lighter shade of orange. That way I'm not stuck with their uh, deep purple fill color or whatever defaults they use in their auto-format uh, options there. So at the very least, I don't have to start with something original. I can use one of the auto-format templates and then just tweak it from there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.